She won't be getting the stomp on me this time around. So you're a glutton for punishment, eh? Either that or you just can't keep away because of my animal magnetism. So back with the space chumps. They managed to get the band back together. They figured that's the most likely place to get any answers as to why they're here. So the super friends were gonna need some serious firepower to knock a hole in that thing. My kind of logic. Man, now that's what I'm talking about. Sure, it's surrounded by space dogs and needs juicing up, but that's where all the fun's at. As ever, the flying mouse got a plan. Beats me where he got his blackboard from. He wants those three to get that mega cannon juiced up without waking up that monocled fruitcake in his pets. My money's on the doggies. I'd love to see him use fish guy as a chew toy. <laughs> So-called heroes are around here somewhere. I know it! Okay, see that broken cannon over there? We gotta try and figure out a way to repair it without giving away our position. You got it, Lantern. Sheesh. This place sure could use a little cleaning up. Agreed. Ooh! How about a nice water feature? Was that about giving away our position? Uh, yeah, my bad. I just hope it's not feeding time.
took care of that beast. Now we can... Wait! There's another one! Heads up! Ah, oh, great. Here we go again. That did it. But we still need to get these goons off our backs if we want to build a cannon. Yes. Perhaps a distraction is required. Let us see if we can create one. Wait. Are we really sure that dude's gonna fall for a fake replica of Granny Goodness? Granny Goodness? Is that you? Quickly, stop attacking! Everyone, stop attacking! Huh. Apparently so. That did it. Let's get back to work before anyone realizes what's happening. Forgive me, Granny! I did not know you were down there! May I ask what you are doing in such a place? Well, uh, never you mind what I'm doing. What are you doing? We are looking for the escaping heroes, and... And you haven't found them yet? Why, that's simply not good enough. Yes, yes, you're entirely correct, of course, Granny. I will find them immediately. Yes, see that you do. This isn't something I was designed for. Okay, that is looking good. Let's use it to blast our way in. Not so fast. We can't fire until it's charged. That's gonna take at least a moment or two. Excuse me, Granny. Are you still down there? I believe we may have... That is not Granny! Uh-oh. Uh, sure it is! I just tripped over my favorite head. Go! Go! Get them! Get the heroes! Get them now! Oh. It appears our time is shorter than we thought! Need a celebratory catchphrase. Something along the lines of Booyah! Hmm. 
a pal. That's one way to ring the doorbell. Looks like Bats was onto something there. The only bad news is Aqua Guy didn't get turned into fish sticks. I guess I should have figured that, given he made it off Apocalypse. That guy with the monocle will have some serious explaining to do to the real old granny when she finds out those goofs got past him and used that sweet cannon. That sure is a big gun. I wonder if I could borrow it. Won't be getting the stomp on me this time around. Maybe sometimes I think there's more to be in the universe's main man than shooting stuff. That's why I shred. I think it shows a different side. Yeah. Hey, uh, I ain't getting paid to teach you how awesome I am. You know that already. So continuing with this flashback, uh, remember the plan? Those guys shoot the gun, get inside. Yeah, I knew you were listening. So that just leaves these guys to take care of business and see if they can't get a meeting with the guy that runs this boiler room. It's up to us now. Let's get to work. Investigate. There may be something we can use. I should take this in case it falls into the wrong hands. Nice 
place. Why would anyone want to live in a giant, creepy old castle like this? Why? What's wrong with that? Seems we've got ourselves a welcoming committee. They really shouldn't have gone to such trouble. Another challenge? Perhaps our host was expecting us after all. Nothing we can't handle, right? from Batman? <laughs> this really is a weird thing. Have you heard the tale of a wondrous man? His mere presence can make you nervous. An assassin like no other can. It's me and all at your service. Let's see you survive this! Just as I thought, a trap! Seems they prepared for all eventualities. I'm actually kind of impressed. Ha! Come now! You truly believe you can defeat me? Expected so much more. Your aim is as inept as the rest of your skills. Stop that at once! A man of steel with a heart so young, silly hair and a chin ten foot wide. He thinks he doth cut such a dashing visage. It wears undergarments on the outside. There lived a man dressed like a bat who fought crime to make his amends. Dour and grumpy and boring in chat. That's why he doesn't have any friends. Defeated so easily! Damn it! 
Schub. In her pageant colors, red, white, and blue, but she's more Miss Congeniality. A man so quick, a phenomenon, he moves at an incredible rate. A glass, a flash, and he's done and gone, which is why he can't get a date. <laughs> Regret crossing paths with me! Now you will fall! Oh, that's harsh. A guy opens up, and what does he get? Shot down with his own axe. That Kanto maybe should have thought about skipping the singing and just done been better at guarding the palace. So these clowns finally get to where you guys met back up with them. Bursting in on Darkseid mid rant and wanting answers. What's the deal, you great mook? Mm. Well, that's me done. A filch is in, and now I need to nap. I don't know. I ain't dishing out no spoilers for how it all turns out. They ain't paying me enough for that. Get out of here, you crazy kids. Ain't you got somewhere else to be? felt there isn't enough time in the day to go to the gym and drive around Chocolate. Ooh, and a cookie. Sup, fishies. How's it going? Open your gills and let me tell you a story. It's the story of two worlds meeting, and against all odds, getting along pretty well. That's where I come from, the link between both worlds. No pressure, right? So Volko was the one who taught me the ways of the water. <laughs> Ah, good times. So, turned out my half-brother, King Orm, wanted to conquer the surface world. So much for brotherly love. Not that people here were any nicer. Hey, are you Aqua Woman? Mira. Her name was Mira. She did not want to clash between the surface and the sea. She thought I could help. 
saved after all the mayhem caused by Orm on the surface. I just had to swim her way. Didn't think me getting captured was part of her plan, though. But hey, a fight to bring peace? Bring it on! Man, I'll give Orm this much. He sure knew how to draw a crowd. Shame for him I wasn't in the mood to play it nice. This looks like trouble. Good thing I like trouble. Orm didn't seem to like the idea of losing fair and square. It'd take a little creative thinking to get past those attacks of his. My usual attacks weren't working. I had to try and think of something else. Seem to work. Finally, I was starting to get some. You know, just for a sec, I thought he'd give up after that. But I guess I should have known.
even after all that, it still wasn't over. <sighs> I had a feeling it was going to be one of those days. I'd have more luck selling umbrellas in Atlantis than using this thing. <laughs> That's one sweet hug. Good luck on your date, bro. That'll keep the surface safe for a while. How's it going, small fries? Missed the best hero of them all, did you? Me and Mira had been busy looking for King Atlan's long-lost trident. Turns out it would give its holder mastery over the seas, which would be kind of useful when going up against my little bro. After a bunch of searching, running, climbing, falling, jumping, and some flying, whew, we finally got a clue to where it was hidden. I was glad to get back to swimming. <laughs> nah, no, not that kind of swimming. Yeah, that's better. And faster. Very important when you're trying to get away from so many teeth and so many claws. But we got rid of them. Piece of fish cake. And finally, in the depths of the hidden sea, we found Atlan's trident. 
Yeah! <laughs> After that, I just had to unite the Seven Kingdoms and convince them that I could be their king. But Orm wasn't gonna make it easy and the biggest water fight ever was about to start. Permission to come aboard? It turned out uniting the Seven was easier said than done, especially with Orm on our case. Freeing those fishermen would be a good place to start. Is this supposed to be a problem? Ha! <laughs> it looked like we'd made ourselves some new friends. Orm didn't seem too happy about it. Probably why he sent some of his buddies after us. By defeating the trench in battle, we'd won their respect and convinced them to change sides. Things were looking up. Just then, Orm managed to knock out the power. If we wanted to communicate with King Narius, we'd have to find a way to fix it. Fast.
Mira managed to convince her dad to join with us. I think that was the last straw for Orm. Orm didn't seem to think too much of me winning our little popularity contest. It was time to teach him a lesson or two about being a king. Seems that Orm still had a few friends. They weren't gonna make this easy. Orm tried calling for more help, but it looked like his plans were about to be all washed up. Yeah, just like that, the tides turned on Orm. Peace returned under the seas, and I took my place as king.